Good morning. It's Monday, July 4th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Big Business, God's Movement, and Apostle Paul. And our scriptures, Acts chapter 19, where the Apostle Paul writes, About that time, serious trouble developed in Ephesus concerning the way. It began with Demetrius, a silversmith who had a large business manufacturing silver shrines of the Greek goddess Artemis. He kept many craftsmen busy. He called them together, along with others employed in similar trades, and addressed them as follows. Gentlemen, you know that our wealth comes from this business. But as you've seen and heard, this man Paul has persuaded many people that handmade gods aren't really gods at all. And he's done this not only here in Ephesus, but throughout the entire province. Of course, I'm not just talking about the loss of public respect for our business. I'm also concerned that the temple of the great goddess Artemis will lose its influence and that Artemis, this magnificent goddess worshipped throughout the province of Asia and all around the world, will be robbed of her great prestige. This account of Demetrius's smoke-filled backroom meeting with all the other local tycoons of the idol business was simply what happens in all conglomerates, governmental entities, and religious institutions. Keeping what's lucrative and destroy everything else. Demetrius did what those invested in big business always do, committing to holding on to power, prestige, and the comfort of keeping things the same. Their methodology is underhanded strong-arming while staying remarkably clear of the fallout. By pitting religion against God's movement, they maintain the status quo, and the world buys it every time. Paul was a small cog in the great wheel of history, but God used the apostle to get the attention of the powerful movers and shakers of the day. It started a riot, but it placed the choice between greed and God in plain view. What was on the table was the sovereignty of God. Would they be obedient to the Creator or rebellious in favor of keeping the cash flow overflowing? They chose to chase the dangling carrot in front of their power and money-sensing noses. It seemed like a no-brainer to keep the bottom line healthy, providing their resources for keeping their power base numbers acceptable. They chose poorly. For you today, Demetrius made his choice and took the rest of big business with him. And what and where did that get them? What they failed to realize was God's movement as an eternal, sovereign king to which all men must eventually answer. Each of us has that same choice. In business sense, silver idols or golden streets. In common sense, hell or heaven. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road today. Have a blessed day.